1v1 green tooth gorge blue side is dark riku as an apothecary fights melee by default great support can heal and has a passive health regeneration aura up against tex on the red side as a commando knob infiltrating commander does good damage and lots of nasty tricks three victory points up for grabs running east to west on this map natural here for dark riku on the east west natural for tex and a central shooters and sluggers on the field for tex double sluggers can be good versus space marines double scouts on the way for dark riku the question will be how much can Dark Riku make Tex bleed? Adding support structure. Commander Nob infiltrates, getting close to these scouts. Does pretty decent damage with that shooter of his. Taking out a scout model. Forces melee. Can't get another one. Can now decap. We have tactical marines on the field for Dark Riku. Heavy ranged infantry. Decapping the west side have their bolters by default. One of them taking pot shots at this node. Units will automatically attack stuff when capping as long as they are facing it. Hurley power harassed by Tex. Sluggers whacking at it with their knives. Taking damage from scouts which were not reinforced by a Dark Riku, though he does have a sergeant on the way. Commando Nob is getting into melee range of these scouts, stopping them from firing. They have their sergeant now. Shooters being chased by the apothecary. Tactical Marines in melee with sluggers, out of support range from the apothecary. Gonna lose a member, surely. Apothecary gets his heal off. So infuriating for Tex. Had the tactical marines at about 200 health and they didn't lose a model. There's the stun bomb from Tex. Default ability of the commander. There's great pressure by him. Ouch, there's a grenade. And force melee on those shooters. He gets away. Dark Riku so lucky not to lose a tactical marine model. Pretty nice bleed on Tex. We have Storm Boys on the field though. Jump infantry that have power we power weapons. So they're gonna do some pretty nice damage to tactical marines. Tactical Marines on the way for Dark Riku. Trying to take back his natural power there. Slugger's going to take Tex's natural VP back. Here come the Storm Boys. Might be a better idea to try and force off the Apothecary. Finally can take back his power here. Slug is taking center and the west for a 2 to 1 eventually for Tex. Shooters with their knob leader and big shooter up against scouts. Not a good fight for scouts though they are in cover. Lose a member and are forced off. Nob in melee with tactical marines. Storm boys in melee with the other squad who are forced off. There's a stun bomb. We'll stun all of that stuff. Tactical marines get away. Again, Dark Riku doesn't lose a tack model. 486 plays 447. 2 to 1 for Tex. Devastators on the way for Dark Riku. Pretty heavy 2 1. Another power harass. Huge map control now for Tex. Even with two scouts. 
the sluggers will be forced off though. Here comes the commando knob. Has his extra equipment by far the most popular armor upgrade for the commando knob. Two generators going down for Dark Riku. Devastator on the field setup team that suppresses with a heavy bolter by default. Triple cat for Tex. Completely dominating this map so far. Tactical Marines in a shooting match with fully upgraded shooters. Picking off a model and another. Now gonna force melee, but the shooters run away. Stormboy is forced off. Sluggers managed to cap this wreck point. Tactical Marines cap faster than any other unit and they take the center. No war gear for the apothecary. 400 plays 447. Scouts coming all the way to the bottom to take, well, decap Texas natural requisition point. Cardinal now going for the Eastern VP, I think. Nope, he's going to harass some tactical marines. Trying to get a model loss. They get away with that one again. Ouch. Something lost a bunch of models. Must have been these sluggers. Lost four. Triple gens up for Tex. Stormboys jumping. Tactical Marines who retreat immediately. There's power weapons so dangerous to their heavy armor. Tex goes tier two. Dark Raccoon not that far behind though. No burners for these sluggers. Dark Creek who can go tier 2 now. Sluggers do get burners. Second squad do anyway. Trying to get a model loss on these scouts. Just can't do it. Now in melee with an apothecary. Here comes shooters to help out. Forcing off the other scout squad. Now focusing down the apothecary. He only has 550 HP to start off. Gets a heal off and retreats. Devastator sets up covering the central poach. Dark Creek you not going tier 2 yet. Cardinal decaps the Eastern VP. Dark Riku now goes tier 2. 3-3-3 plays 4-3-6. Sluggers decapping this red point. Amazing pressure from Tex. Devastators take out a Stormboy. They have their knob leader now so they'll be pretty fearsome in melee. Cardinal needs to be careful. 306 plays 436 2 to 1. Vortex has a war truck on the way. Tactical Marines taking the center. Will be a 2 to 1 for Dark Riku now. Shooter Boy is coming to defend this wreck point. Scouts get away without a model loss. And they recap. Are we to accept defeat? Stormboys back up to full strength. Also have their rocket pats improved. Dark Ricky starting to creep back across the map here. With these double scouts. Devastator now set up covering the center completely. Razor back on the way. War truck on the field. Transport and reinforcement point for orcs. Not the toughest thing around, but it is cheap. Razor back, much the same, but tougher. Bardenov takes the 
central VP will at least try as you see the Storm Boys stunning all of that stuff when it land thanks to their leader. Sluggers getting out of the war truck trying desperately to get model losses. They do take out a tactical marine. The other two get away. Great tactic in 1v1 for Orcs. Stuff a couple of sluggers in a war truck and drive them around. Here comes the Razorback. Does decent anti-infantry damage with that heavy bolter on top of it. Tank busters on the way to try and counter that Razorback. Sluggers almost wiping those scouts. 70 HP across two models. 1 to 0 cap for Tex. 287 plays 403. It is now tier 2 though. This is Space Marine territory. Assault Marines on the way for Dark Riku. Assault Squad as they're called. Here are the tank busters inside the war truck. Tactical Marines forced off by shooters. Don't take a model loss. We'll now get a heal. Both commanders still level 1. Booby traps on the commander knob. Bit of a standoff on the east here. Assault Marines on the field. Jump infantry that fight in melee. Good at destruction. Thunder and Lightning on the way to give them a Melter Bomb. Razorbacks in big trouble. And Tank Busters finish it off as a big loss for Dark Riku. These sluggers have their knob leaders, so they're not any joke in melee. Hasn't been able to hit Dark Riku's power again. Tier 3 for Tex. He's going well. Sergeant on the way for the Assault Marines. Making them much better in melee because they get Merciless Strike. Surprised we haven't seen a Devastator upgrade or missile launcher for these tacks to try and deal with that war truck. Shooters trying to outshoot tactical marines. Dark Riku. Will he jump them? No. Shooters forced off. Quantum are being very sneaky. Dark Riku now trying to recap the eastern side of the map. One nine four plays three six nine two to zero cap. Dark Riku under pressure. Tex hit in tier three with a nice amount of resources now. We do have a missile launch up on a tactical marine squad, also getting its sergeant. There's a missile hit. Ouch! Got rear armor, and there's a melter bomb, and that's going to finish it off, I think. Rear armor hit with that melt on takes out the war truck. Sluggers get out. One of the squads has its leader. Tactical Marines now in melee with Storm Boys get a heal. Bit isolated there. Knobs on the way for Tex. Tank busters need to leave right now. Manage to decap. Will they get away though? No, they pay for it with their lives. And the game has turned in a matter of seconds. Dark Riku now has superior forces on the field. So we do have knobs on the way. 175 plays 366. You see that booby trap there? Leads the assault marines into it and now retreats and sets off the booby trap wiping the scouts excellent play from Tex tactical marines trying to force melee on him can't finish him off though that was the sneakiest orc ever knob squad on the field elite tier 3 infantry for orcs have chain axes by default Mina and Green are on the way 
Storm Boys back up to full strength. Haven't really seen them decimating squads, but they have scared off Dark Rico a couple of times. Scouts can't finish the cap. Hide the boys used on these knobs. That's a global ability of the Kamano knob. Infiltrating a squad. Excellent grenade from Dark Riku. Doesn't take out a member though. Knobs are hanging out. Not bashing power. One seven five plays three one nine two to one for Dot Riku. Shooter boys try and decap, but they lose a member for their trouble. Double sluggers, only one has the leader though. Knobs now working on this power have their hammers, huge hammers even. This is a bad engagement for them. With the apothecary round, they should focus him down. Storm boys in melee with assault marines. Apothecary heals them. Might be taken out in retreat and is. Storm boys now jump tactical marines. Down to five members. Bad engagement for Dot Riku. Does force off the storm boys though. That's not that bad. Did lose the apothecary, but that's it. Who uses Laramans and resurrects itself. 2 to 1 now for Tex. Dark Riku goes tier 3. Nobs just rampaging around. Go after the Apothecary again, and he goes down in about 3 or 4 hits. Now going after these Devastators. Sorry, these Tactical Marines. Commander Nob puts down a booby trap right behind the Devastators. Tactical Marines forced off. Still a 2 to 1 for Tex. Apothecary down again. Will he use Laramans again? I believe it's 125 Red. Or Zeal as it's called for Space Marines. Scouts forced off. Did not manage to decap? Power being hit. There's a stun bomb. Only hit one Devastator model though. Nobs finally forced off. Did so much havoc. Have their Nob leader, but they did lose another model. Final Nob trying to decap. I think he could have then. Salt Marines jump in the shooters. Storm boys forced off by Devastators and Tactical Marines. Dark Ricky wants to cap this central VP here. Double Sluggers have been hanging out on the west side, capping up. One two eight plays two nine four. Texas stuff coming out of base, fully upgraded knobs. Sluggers with their knob leader and storm boys. These other sluggers have caught these scouts in retreat. I only lose one member, pretty lucky there. No booby traps on the VPs. Apothecary, no war gear for him in this entire game, gets a heal off on the assault squad. He's only level 2. Quanonob's only level 3 though. Assault Marines jump the hell away from the knobs. 2 to 1 for Dot Riku. Another, no, it's a predator on the way for Dot Riku here. Might see the knob get his crazy rocket launcher. Sluggers don't want to engage three fully upgraded marine squads. The other squad might. No. Predator on the field for Dot Riku. Battle tank for marines. Getting a extra armor. 
Not sure what the commander of doing. They shall know no fear on these tactical marines. Thanks to the sergeant. One two eight plays two four zero. Nobs capping Dark Riku's natural. Scouts can't really do much to them. Maybe a grenade in their mitts. Devastators will set up, but the nobs finish the cap for a two to one. Storm boys can jump those devastators and do so, stunning them. And that's very, very nasty damage. Lucky only to lose one member there. Storm boys trying to chase. Could have done a bomber boy on the base there. Nobs finishing off the generators. Battle wagon on the way for Tex. Corner Nob is getting its rocket launcher. Bothercary in melee with Nobs. What is he doing? Goes down in seconds again. Nobs now going after this tank. Pathing issues prevent him from attacking, but now they're getting rear arm hits. Devastator might save them. Scouts trying to repair. Nobs pop frenzy. Ouch. So close to that Devastators. They eventually lose a model. Battle Wagon on the field. Super unit for Orcs. Range damage can also use its death roller at the front there. Need to put two squads inside of it to get all of the firepower. Which I think Tex just did. It's a bit unwieldy to control. Final Nob takes the central VP. Has his feared rocket launcher. Does crazy anti-vehicle damage. Tactical Marines trying to take this Western VP. Death Roller, ouch. Takes out one model. Two to one for Dark Riku now. Two to zero for Dark Riku. One, one, three, plays one, nine, four. Melter Bomb on the Battle Wagon. They now jump after the Kwana Nob, uses his booby trap and is now forced off. Missile launcher getting hits off on the battle wagon. Storm boys decapping east. Shooters taking the west. Apothecary trying to take the central VP here. Here come knobs though. Will they kill the Apothecary again? No. Should get away. Storm boys jump behind the Predator here. Getting rear arm hits. 92 plays 172. Dark Riku hanging on. These knobs have been crazy though. Hasn't been able to deal with them at all. They shall know no fear on these tactical marines so they can try and tough it out with these storm boys. And they do. Level 3 storm boys forced off. Tex not repairing this battle wagon. Here come knobs. Tactical Marines get a heal from the Apothecary. Battle Wagon's gonna go down here. And there he goes. Tex floating crazy amounts of resources. Must have been at his pop cap. Gets another Battle Wagon. 38 plays 172. Final Nob trying to get his missile to fire here. Gets a grenade to his face. Nob's catching Tactical Marines in retreat. Now going after the tank. Look at the damage the rocket launcher's doing. And there goes the Pred. 2 to 1 now for Dark Riku. 
would be amazing if you could pull this off. I don't think he can. These knobs have been fearsome. Now level 3, over 4,500 HP. Angels of Death used by the Apothecary. All of these units are invulnerable, so the knobs are forced off. The Salt Marines get healed, lost a member. Corner Knob decaps the East for a 1 to 0. Will be 2 to 1 for Dark Riku, though. Amazing that Dark Riku has survived this from Power Starved. Tex at his pop cap still can't categorically shut out Dark Riku. Tactical Marines forcing melee on these shooters. Shooters need to run away. And they do finally. Stormboy is in there now. They show no fear used again. Such a great ability for Tactical Marines. Devastator's helping them out. Get jumped. And they're in big, big trouble. Special attacks knocking them down. And Devastator's wipe. These Storm Boys are running right level 4 now. Storm Boys jump away. 2 to 1 for Dark Riku. Going for a triple. Battle Wagon number two on the field. Quantum Knob trying to take the centre here. We'll have double tax and a apothecary to deal with. He now has armour of purity and improved medical equipment. Quantum Knob did decap. Here come the knobs again. Sluggers taking the Western VP. Should change the weapon on the commander knob, surely. There are no vehicles around. Look at the resources that Tex has. Assault Marines will wipe, will they? No. Knobs trying to cap and finish this. 37 plays 98. Dark Ricky hanging on. Battle Wagon. Trying to finish off the Assault Marines and does. Now pinning the Apothecary in base. Surely that's it. Gonna be a two to z maybe a triple here. Tex thinks it's GG. And there's the triple. Scouts decapping the West, but it's futile. Dark Riku done so well to hang on, but Tex has pretty much outplayed him. Was so lucky, unlucky rather, not to take out Tax in that first engagement. Pretty unlucky as well to lose the war truck in a blink of an eye like that. Excellent play by Tex. Typical apothecary. Pretty hard to keep down though. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.